Hello everybody and welcome to chapter 7 of my Win UAE guide. So in this video today we're going to be looking at using the internet in Win UAE. So this means that you'll be able to access the internet while you're within Workbench um, and I totally understand if uh, you'll think hang on I'm, I'm on a PC, why don't I just use the internet on there? And it's, it's totally up to you. Uh, really, this guide is sort of like optional, really, uh, from all the other guides that I've done previously. And it just adds to the immersion of um, using an Amiga, if you can get it kind of connected to the internet, but in a virtual way, for example. So hopefully you've been following the rest of my videos. Um, if you haven't already, check out the previous videos in this playlist. And you should have a similar setup uh, to this. So uh, last video we uh, left off uh, as having an A1200 with a hard drive. If I load that up and we start that up, uh, you'll see a similar setup to this. Now I'm just going to do a couple of um, uh, things to sort of like just make things a little bit easier uh, going forward. Um, these are optional, so you don't have to do these, but um, I'm just going to show you uh, how to improve uh, the resolution of the Amiga Workbench. So if we go into System, Preferences, uh, we're going to go into Screen Modes and then we're going to go into PAL, high res, laced. So it's interlaced. And then if we click on save, resolution changes, and then, oh, we get this weird color and everything. If we do a reboot, so a control Amiga Amiga, wait for that to load up again. There we go, all the colors look correct. Now you may have noticed one thing from uh, that's different from the previous video, and that is that the border around my workbench is much thinner than last time. Now the way that I've fixed that uh, is by what's called overscan. So if we go to system again, preferences, then we need to search for overscan. There it is, double click on that. And then in each of these, so if we go edit text size, we get uh, this basic uh, guide to sort of basically ask, okay, how, how much of the screen um, do we want to take up? This was very useful back in the day when we had CRTs um, and it was a little bit difficult to uh, change uh, the settings on the monitor. Um, nowadays with LCD screens, of course, Basically, we just need to make sure that it goes right to the edge of the screen. If we click OK, then uh, and then save, it then uses the whole uh, window space of Win UAE. Uh, so that's done. If we give it another reboot just to fix the colors. There we go. So uh, there we go. Uh, one other thing I'm going to do as well is I'm also going to change the fonts. So let's go into uh, fonts, select workbench icon text. Uh, I'm going to choose Helvetica, uh, probably a size 13, I think is a good size. And then select screen text. Yeah, that's gonna be Helvetica size 13. If we click save on there, uh, don't worry about that error message. There we go, and it just tidies up the fonts a little bit. Um, looks a little bit more modern as well. So there we go. Um, so what we're going to do today. So uh, we're going to install a couple of programs. We're going to install MUI, and if I just move Chrome over to here. Uh, so you'll need to download this package, MUI38 user. So we're going to be installing that. And that is required by this program, which is called iBrowse, 
which is a web browser for the Amiga. Very popular back in the day. Um, I've only just recently noticed that there's a brand new version that's just come out, uh, 30th of August, so a little while ago, and brand new version of iBrowse has come out in 2019, which is fabulous. I think the last version that came out was um, back in 2006 or something like that, long time ago. So uh, you need to download iBrowse as well. We just go to downloads, go to Amiga, HDF, PC directory, which is the PC directory that you can see on the Amiga just there. And there we go, we've got our eyebrows, uh, we've got our, um, I can't see it at the moment, uh, we've got the FTP one and we've got the MUI38 user. Excellent, okay, so with all that downloaded, let's go back into uh, the emulator. Now there's one thing that I am going to change slightly before we start. Um, and if I move the mouse, you may notice it. I don't know if it's gonna show up in this video, but whenever you move the mouse, now that we've changed the resolution to interlace, you may find that the mouse cur cursor starts to break up and look a little bit weird. Now we can fix that. If we go to F12, go to display, and then we need to tick remove interlace artifacts. So if we click on that, click OK. If I move the mouse now, you may notice it, the mouse looks a little bit smoother now. So yeah, that just fixes. Uh, you'll only see that if you're using interlace mode, which is what we're using at the moment. So uh, let's go to PC and uh, let's organize and clean up our folders because things are looking a little bit messy at the moment. Uh, there we go. And we've got loads of files in here. So the first one that we're going to do is the MUI 3.8. So if we just scroll along, we need to run this one. And as ever, what we need to do is go to the beginning of the command, go LHA space X space, and then press enter. That's going to extract a load of things. Excellent, and that's done. So I can close that window. And if I just do a update uh, in here, there we go, we've got a folder called MUI. If we go into there, we've got a install MUI. Double click on that. Uh, we'll leave it on intermediate. Click on proceed. We've got to do this for real. Yes, agree. Okay, and then it says select a place to install it. By de default, for some reason, it chooses PC, um, but we need to make sure that it goes into the root of uh, Workbench. So if we go to Show Drives, uh, then just click on System. It's a perfect place. It's going to place uh, a folder in there called MUI anyway for us. So we just need to click on Proceed. And then we just need to wait for it to uh, install all the different packages. Okay, there we go, that's done. So if we click on proceed, oh, there's a load more to do as well. Okay, and we click on proceed. I'm gonna choose English. Uh, do we need to, yes, uh, we'll just say yes to everything. It's installing some demo stuff. Click proceed. There we go, that's all done. Right, okay, let's give the Amiga uh, a reboot. So control Amiga Amiga. Then let's go back into our PC folder. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna install eyebrows. So let's um, have a look again. I need to do a cleanup. Uh, let's just do a snapshot all so that stays there. Uh, so eyebrows, uh, there it is. 2.5, uh, I want to extract that. There 
Okay, we'll just wait for that to all extract. Okay, and that's done. So we can close that window. And then we're just going to do an update. Look for eyebrows. There's eyebrows just there. And similar thing, there's an install as well. This is all looking quite familiar now. Intermediate, proceed with install. Yes, for real. And then proceed. So where do we want to store this? Please select where you want to install eyebrows. A folder called eyebrows will be put there. Uh, so let's put it in. Uh, we'll put it in system. And then I think we're going to put it in. Uh, we can either put it in tools or utilities. I'll tell you what, we'll put it in tools and proceed. Okay, so the language you want to choose. I'm going to choose English. And then uh, what processor have we got? So uh, we're just running a stock um, A1200 at the moment. So an 68020 is absolutely fine. And then click proceed. Uh, colors, what do we require? 32-bit, um, I oh, not sorry, not 32-bit. 32 color should be fine. Um, we'll give that a go. Transfer animations, what do you want to install? 8-bit uh, 256 color, that will probably do. And then eyebrows uses uh, new string MCC. Where would, where do you have MUI installed? Well, it's pointing us to MUI uh, colon, so that's fine. There we go. Click proceed. Yes, copy, copy, copy. Loads of copies. Okay, and then we end up with a README. Installation complete. There we go. So, so far, so good. We've got eyebrows installed. So, what if I try loading it up now? And at the moment, I think this might not work. And I'll tell you why in a moment. So if I go to my tools, go to eyebrows, double click on eyebrows, and we're missing key map library 39 or higher. Interesting. So there's a couple of things that we need to fix in order for eyebrows to work. So um, I've discovered uh, when I try to open eyebrows uh, in my tools, eyebrows, I get this error message, failed to open key map library version 39 or higher. So after some testing, uh, I found out that actually uh, the setup that I've got at the moment, the configuration, this one, if we go to ROMs, we're using a kickstart ROM of 3.0. We need to bump this up to Kickstart 3.1. So we'll make sure to select that. Then we'll choose Reset, I'll Reboot the Amiga. Then if we go to System, Tools, and then go to uh, Eyebrows again. Eyebrows, wait for it. There we go, it looks like it's loading up. And of course, yep, we're running this in demo mode at the moment. So if we want to have the full version, then we can purchase it from this website here. Excellent. So um, this looks like it's working. Um, I've got eyebrows, um, got the got a web browser. It looks really, really good. So uh, let's go to Aminet. So Aminet net and then oh we've got this error message unable to open bsd socket library or compatible networking interface now i was expecting this error message uh, basically at the moment our setup with the amiga doesn't have any network interface at the moment so we this amiga isn't connected to the outside world at the moment so we're going to fix that if we press f12 
This time we're going to do a restart. Okay. Then make sure that Kickstart ROM 3.1 is still selected uh, under ROMs. And then where we're going to go is going to expansions. And then we need to make sure that BSD socket library is ticked. This is what enables our network connection inside the emulator. So with those two things uh, done, so BSD socket library and our ROM 3.1 is selected. What I'm going to do is just go back to configuration, make sure that my configuration selected, go choose save, and then we're going to start Win UAE again. So there we go. Um, so now if I go to system, go to tools, scroll along a bit to eyebrows, choose eyebrows, and then, yep, we've got demo. The demo only worked for 30 minutes and has several features disabled. Okay, so I highly recommend if you're going to be using this quite a bit, then um, please su support the developers because it's amazing that um, they're supporting a web browser on the Amiga still. Uh, they're doing a fantastic job. So let's try going to aminet.net again, press enter. And then after a little while, there we go. We have got Aminet and this is the internet on our Amiga. So there we go. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Um, if you have any questions at all about anything to do with WinUAE, please leave a comment uh, below and I'll try and help you out. And maybe I'll do a future video on that subject um, that you want me to cover as well. So uh, yes, thank you for watching and uh, hopefully see you in the next video. Goodbye.